Now, in terms of the path, well, it's going to be around Georgia by the time we wake up tomorrow morning and then off to the coast of Carolinas between then and 8 a.m. on Friday. By then, still losing its steam and becoming an extra tropical system. Now, I do want to point out, it is still strong out there, 140 mile per hour winds, and there's pictures coming out there of some catastrophic damage. Now, the damage, it's likely to decrease uh, between by now and by the time it reaches Delmarva, but still kicking up the rains and the wind speeds for us by the time it reaches us. So by uh, tomorrow morning, still along the coast of Georgia, and then by the time it gets to around lunchtime on Thursday, kicking up to the coast of Carolina, we'll start to feel the impacts, we'll start to feel some of those rain showers by the time we head to Thursday morning or tomorrow morning and still around the lunchtime, evening after noon hours into Thursday into Friday morning. That's when we're really going to start to feel the heavy impacts. There will be coastal impacts, heavy rain, one to four inches, some areas locally more, and not to mention the wind speeds kicking up to around 50 miles per hour. But luckily it is a quick mover, so by the time we head to lunch time on Friday, it is no more in our neck of the woods. Now, I don't want this to scare you, but this is the future rainfall. So the further you do live south, the more rainfall you will be seeing. At least one to four inches across Delmarva, lesser amounts to the north than there will be in the south. But I do think locally we could see one to five inches of rain possible. Now, as far as the wind speeds go, they're going to be strong for us. So we could see gusts around 40, 50 miles per hour, more so by the time we head to Friday morning when the heavier rainfall is really going to kick in and notice the shift. The northwest wind, that's going to be part of Michael, but also that cold front kicking in those cooler temperatures. So by the time we head to that seven-day planner, we'll finally start to see those cooler temperatures. But the impacts, well, Thursday night into Friday morning, heaviest rainfall, one to four inches, as I mentioned. More areas locally could see more, and the wind speed's definitely kicking up. The tides are going to be up, not to mention that, because of king tides and just high tide in general. So we will see some coastal flooding. 